Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you have a habit of leaving work and chores to the last minute? Do you have trouble managing your time? We have a solution for that, thanks to our sponsor, Skillshare. It's a great place where you can learn new things with their online classes, and they have courses on animation as well. Watch this video till the end to find out more. Hey, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for all of the love and support that you've given us, enabling us to make yet another exploration into everyday psychology. Today, let's delve into the colorful world of color psychology. Let's begin. What is your favorite color? This is a question that tops your childhood FAQs, right? The uniqueness of each human's mind makes it almost impossible to have a set of rules that applies to everyone's choice. Preferences you might have can be linked to your overall behavior. But did you know the characteristics of your personality can be based on what your favorite color is? Here are your favorites and what they say about your personality. One, black. Black is a color to be taken seriously. People whose favorite color is black look for power and control. According to a study in 2018, they are perceived as serious, almost intimidating. You wanna be seen by your internal qualities rather than your outward appearance by wearing black clothing. It personifies your independent and mysterious nature, as stated in a study by Peck in 2020. If your favorite color is black, others view you as a private person who masks their emotions. You only share your thoughts and feelings with close friends and relatives. Two, white. Peck claims that the color white has a close relation with purity, birth, and innocence. A study by Myers in 2018 found people who favor white are very organized, independent, and logical in the way they solve problems. You are known to be optimistic and focused on the bright side of life. You strive to find peace, but might come off as uptight and self-righteous, which results in decreased popularity within your circle of friends. Your nature can be condescending at times, which does more harm than good. Oopsie daisy. Three, red. The color red is closely related to passion, desire, and aggression. <sighs> You are outgoing and adventurous. You enjoy being the center of attention and have very intense feelings. You are not afraid of letting others know about your feelings, whether they're good or <clears throat> bad. Speak less, do more is your motto, and you have a very action-oriented style in life. As a natural born leader, you are respected by people easily. Four, blue. The color blue symbolizes peace and tranquility and is the most popular color. If your favorite color is blue, you are reliable, calm, and loyal. Your level-headedness allows you to operate under pressure. Finding inner peace and absolute truth is of the essence of you. You live life according to your ideals and beliefs. A study by Myers in 2018 states that you find fulfillment in being of service by thinking about others and putting their needs before your own. But a word of caution, according to a study, Self-destructive behavior can be developed when you find expectations and outperforming yourself too hard to handle. Five, green. Is green your favorite color? If so, you have strong time management skills due to your ability to quickly prioritize. You are open-minded and curious, always looking to learn new things and to become more knowledgeable. They stand their ground on their opinions and do not believe anyone or anything easily. However, if they do, they will do it very strongly. A study states that the color green represents nature, good luck, and fertility. On the other hand, it also represents jealousy and greed. People whose favorite color is green consider their reputation and the way society perceives them as very important and lead an active public life. Six, yellow. Does the word yellow bring to mind the sun on a summer afternoon? Or maybe that egg yolk on your plate during breakfast on your favorite holiday? Yellow is the color of happiness, sunshine, and <laughs> laughter. When your favorite color is yellow, you love to share with others, but also have a focus on expressing your individuality. You are very lighthearted and have a very positive outlook, but tend to go overboard with your optimism. Whoops. You are seldom sad, but when it happens, you can be in that mood for several days. A study found such people are spontaneous and willing to take action, giving them an advantage over people who are indecisive. Seven, orange. Would you describe yourself as highly productive? Do you like to work and get things done fast? Chances are your favorite color must be orange then, right? This color represents energy, 
warmth, and enthusiasm. It gives you a party-like vibe, doesn't it? People whose favorite color is orange like to socialize. You aim to be accepted and respected in a group of people. Just like people who favor yellow, you are very optimistic, always expecting wonderful things to happen. You have a black and white perspective on life, either going after something with everything you have or not going after it at all. Eight, purple. Do you remember the color of Rapunzel's royal flag entangled? Purple is the color associated with power, royalty, spirituality, and prestige. Because back in the day, only monarchs and nobility could afford purple clothing. So yeah, you guessed it right. The color of the flag entangled was also purple. People whose favorite color is purple are helpful to others, but require significant emotional security in their lives. You are creative and love unique things, wanting to stand out from the group. Known as unpredictable, dealing with you can be either very easy or extremely difficult. Having a balance of both charisma and cool exterior makes climbing to the top all the easier. Nine, pink. Did you just think of the Pink Panther? The color pink symbolizes femininity, love, playfulness, and to a certain extent, immaturity, claimed a study in 2020. People whose favorite color is pink express themselves very well and believe in being loved and accepted unconditionally. You prioritize love, family, and kindness above everything else. You are very compassionate to those closest to you and are very dependable when others need emotional support. This color is the most calming and sedative one, which is why some institutes paint their walls pink to reduce aggression. 10, gray. Gray is associated with balance, being neither dark nor light. People whose favorite color is gray usually prefer not to be the center of attention. You are known as very mature, but are difficult to characterize due to the nature of the color. Your taste is very modern and sophisticated. You are naturally fair and can see problems objectively without letting personal feelings affect the decisions made. And 11, brown. Is your favorite color the same color as chocolate and coffee? Brown, like green, is a color connected to life, growth, and the color of the earth. Brown in color psychology is a color of reliability, loyalty, and sincerity. It relates to maturity and being sensible. So if you're into brown, you're down to earth, practical, straight talking, and always to the point. Not only that, you have a keen sense of duty and responsibility. You take your obligations very seriously. Your family and friends are extremely important to you, and you like physical comfort, simplicity, and quality. Did you relate to your favorite color? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and share it with someone who might benefit from it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Did you relate to any of the points in the video? What do you think of the animation? Let us know in the comments below. Before we wrap up this video, we wanna mention that we're happy to have Skillshare as a sponsor today because they really promote the idea of a self-made you. Are you planning to learn a new skill? Perhaps on time management, writing, or animation? Are you looking through as many YouTube channels as you can for tutorial tips, but waste a lot of time on some not so helpful ones? It would be great if everything you need is all in one place. Skillshare has thousands of catered courses across all kinds of topics like design, business, tech, and more. There is truly something for everyone. Skillshare has a great intro class on productivity that we really recommend. The course is called Productivity Masterclass, Principles and Tools to Boost Your Productivity by Ali Abdal. He goes into detail as to why having not enough time is not a good excuse for not accomplishing your work. If any of you are interested in learning how to get more things done in a day, I recommend you go check it out in the link below. The first thousand people will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium, and after that, it's only about 10 bucks a month. Let us know what Skillshare courses you're taking in the comments below. Thanks for watching.